Buy an unlocked Intel 4th Gen Core i7 or Core i5 processor and get a free copy of Rome 2 Total War. Click now to learn more. Welcome to my overview slash review, whatever you want to call it, of what may seem at first like the least exceptional keyboard ever. All right, so it comes in a box, but that's pretty much, you know, par for the course. It's got like bubble wrap and you can take it out. There's no, uh, there's no braided cable, no wrist rest, no real accessories in the box, no detachable cable, although they do have this cool little feature where you can route it around to one side if you want and get it out of the way of your, uh, your monitor or whatever else. It has uh, no audio pass through, no USB hub, and basically just looks like the most boring thing ever. So which you might reply, okay Linus, why am I even watching this? Why did you even do this? Well, the answer is Check out the link in the video description labeled pricing and availability and prepare to have your eyes fall off. Yeah, or out, or whatever your eyes do when they fall. Yes, this is a mechanical keyboard that is actually less expensive than many fully backlit membrane keyboards and it comes with a full backlight. In this case, blue. So now I'm done hating on it. Let's talk about what's good about it. First of all, they've done nothing stupid with the layout. Nice standard 104 key layout without any shortened shifts or backspaces or anything like that. The LED backlights are actually pretty darn good. You only get four brightness levels, so you can go all the way down to nothing or all the way up to actually quite bright. The build quality is much better than I was expecting. There is almost no flex to this bad boy and I would not have pegged this for such an inexpensive mechanical keyboard if someone had just handed it to me and asked me to tell them how much I thought that it cost. It has a Windows key, disable key, which is sort of in a weird location up at the top right, but it has one. It also has media keys that are handled with a function, um, you know, secondary functionality thing, but it does support play, pause, forward, back, stop, volume, down, up, and mute. So it's got that functionality on board. But other than that, not a whole lot. Depending on where you look, I think on the box it says N key rollover, but actually on their site it says six to eight key rollover. So it does support enough rollover that for pretty much any gaming combination, you're gonna not gonna have any difficulty. And other than that, what can I say about it? It's a better typing experience. It's very solidly built and it comes in at a very appealing price. They've got a nice little ergonomic, you know, risers at the back here that actually have rubber tips. This is something you don't see that often so it won't slide whether you have it laying down flat on the table or if you have it raised and it's available with at least three different key switch types. So they've got browns, reds, and blues available depending on where you look and uh, so that means it's inexpensive and there's lots of variety just like audible.com. Head over to audible.com slash Linus to check out their monthly audiobook membership. You get a credit for one audiobook per month and the first one is free. We should have like little streamers fall down. Audiobooks are great for driving, for listening to when you're performing repetitive tasks, or for listening to while you fall asleep. And they've got all kinds of different audiobooks. But the one that Brandon insists I feature is The Wolf of Wall Street by Jordan Belfort. You can now listen to an unabridged audiobook version. It will take about 20 hours, but that's not really that much time to invest, is it? Wow, terrible. Anyway, audible.com slash Linus to learn more and to get your first one for free. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment and let me know. Mechanical keyboards at this price point, does it make sense? We need to hear what you think. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.